The Deputy Chief of the Indian Air Force Air Marshal Sandeep Singh has said that Indian Air Force is satisfied at the rate of progress in the development of the indigenous ACE radar which has 700 transmit receive modules that will be equipped on the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets and the Air Force has also backed up the proposal to develop an advanced version with 1300 transmit receive modules for the Su-30 fighter jets. The DRDO is also developing the next generation gallium nitride semiconductors, which will consume less power and will have better performance in terms of electronic countermeasures, better detection of smaller targets, and it will be equipped on the 5.5 generation AMCA fighter jet. The British High Commission in New Delhi has released a statement that UK is ready to assist India with its challenge of becoming self-reliant in the defence sector, and also mentioned a number of existing and developing partnerships and joint ventures between the two countries, that include armoured fighting vehicles, howitzers and air defence systems in the land domain, critical warship navigation equipment in the maritime domain, and it also mentioned jet engine technology development and missile simulation systems in the air domain. It also mentioned that a memorandum of understanding for defense logistics is currently in final stage of development, and a defense training agreement is in developmental stage. The Defence Ministry has stated that they are not in a hurry to sanction the procurement of 30 Predator B drones worth $3 billion in the name of emergency, and this comes after the apprehensions raised by the Indian Air Force in a recent meeting, where it stressed over the effectiveness of Predator B drones in a contested airspace. The Air Chief has said that India has similar capability available with the Israeli Harop UAVs. He also said that UAVs have certain limitations, and they have to be a part of a larger mix of aerial platforms for combat operations. Ukrainian company Motor Sitch is all set to get a contract to overhaul engines of Mi-17 helicopters of the Indian Air Force, as Motor Sitch has been announced as the lowest bidder for the contract. It is to be noted that Chinese investors had bought 80% stake of the Ukrainian company in August 2020. Russian helicopters have recently written to the Indian Air Force that Russian government has withdrawn its licenses from Motor Sitch for the overhauling of these engines, and they are represented only through the original equipment manufacturer United Engine Corporation for overhauling and supply of parts of the Mi-17 helicopters. It was reported that the Indian Army was in the process of acquiring high-power scopes and sights for the recently delivered SIG 716 rifles, and new reports indicate that the Army has equipped them with holographic sights developed by Bharat Electronics Limited, which will be helpful for aligning targets with speed and precision. The holographic sight weighs 350 grams, and operates in temperatures from minus 30 degrees Celsius to plus 55 degrees Celsius. Hindustan Aeronautics has started wind tunnel testing of the 12-ton Indian multi-role helicopter, that has been offered to replace the large fleet of Russian Mi-17 helicopters. HAL is also closely working with the armed forces, so that the three services can agree on the basic flight characters and configuration before tri-service specific variants are developed. The project cost is estimated to be around 10,000 crore rupees, and HAL will partner a foreign company for the development of a new engine, and the tri-service will also have the option of two different engines sourced from France and US. The ISRO is likely to conduct the second test of its reusable launch vehicle in December 2020. The reusable launch vehicle will be lifted up by a helicopter, and will be released from a height of 4 km, after which the vehicle will glide and navigate towards the runway, and land on its own in an airfield deploying its parachute like an aircraft.